weeks. We have witnessed the unprovoked and inexplicable abuse of former First Lady Mamangina Kenyatta by political allies of the deputy party leader and the subsequent response by Honorable Boruto that exhibited not an ounce of contrition. Some of the abuses have been expressed in the most primitive and vulgar vernacular. Last week, the party had made a decision not to field a candidate in the forthcoming Musambweni parliamentary by-election. Shortly after that announcement, the party leader, the deputy party leader, actually came into the party headquarters with an aspirant on tow. He went ahead to express his dissenting view on this matter, but committed to respect the party position. It was a surprise to see the deputy party leader emerge the following day unveiling and declaring his support for an independent candidate in contravention of the party position that he committed himself to respect just the previous day in this spot where I'm talking right now. Another example. Kenyans were amazed by the obvious absence of the deputy president at the KICC during the COVID-19 conference with his seat remaining conspicuously empty throughout the event where he was included in the program to make remarks and according to state protocol, then invite the president to address the conference. For such travesty, the only thing we have received from the DP's camp are tweets from his allies rubbing more salt into the injury. In many days, weeks, and months, we have seen the deputy president run around the country in the so-called hustler political rallies in churches, markets, and roadsides. Up to now, the vast majority of those who serve this party and this president have heeded the call by the president that we should not put the country in a campaign mode so early so that the country may concentrate in the very important human development agenda of this administration. This restraint is out of respect for the president and not because of a lack of leaders with ambition and capacity to hit the road and start campaigning. We have witnessed with sadness the very rude and unmitigated defiance in the face of this fervent wish